Welcome back to the NDS. We are here at Verlandering for race 11 of the season. Quick look at qualifying. We are going to get ready to go here. It's going to be a very hectic drafting track. 20 lines to be taken, 46 laps to be had. Jeff on pole. Going to get down to business with the green flag coming out to kick off the Roblox 400. Green, green, green. Very nice procession so far. Just 34 getting a good start. Draft working as expected. Drivers picking and choosing their lines. Things are going to get a little rough in the pack, but they can handle it for now until they get a little too aggressive. 34 Jeff holding his line station, but RS fast at 11. Being able to drive out to an early lead so far. As our side by side up front. Look at Mizzou just going back and forth, trying to change jump his line, see what works. 84 making it stick out front. So far is a few lines. Whoa! Back in the back. 77 of Hampton took a Took a shot on the right side. I believe it was courtesy of Tide as the back markers kind of scramble out to avoid that. We're still green. Still green as now the front is getting a little separated. 84 stretching out that lead to a solo car. He's going to leave himself vulnerable to a run by the five of Wannabe. 16 of Ben McDonald's going to go underneath uh, 5. I think Ben's going to have the run here, but not the help. Oh, Jake's going to go with him. If they could just get to pushing, that'd be fine. They have a little extra support. Not sure how that's going to work. The leaders are a little separated. From the next group here. Hyperdrive, Landon, Packer Man all together. That one racer in the mix as well. Yeah, there's a couple seconds gap, especially with that one gap in the pack. But they all seem to still be there. Looking at everybody picking their line. One, two. You even got Gamma back there in the third lane with Tank Gunner. Oh, jeez. The leaders tend to play it safe right now. I actually like this decision right now. Early on, just want to ride around. See what you got. Maybe try a move on your own. But nothing too extreme basically just practicing for later in the race. I like it. But I do think someone's going to overstep their boundaries here as Ben McDonald is getting the huge push he needs to get out front here. 84 and Mizzou are fighting back on the outside. So it's no guarantee that Ben will actually complete the pass. But when he gets it down to three, he's got it. Got it made. Jake's probably going to take it from him as well. Now they're back to... I see him back on there three wide. A little bit there. Hyper and Duke running there. If they can just get the push they need, they'd move up. But if you have no help, you are going to be falling down backwards. Duke getting a little claustrophobic in there, but he finds room. I love this backstretch cam right here. It just shows all. I think I see Hampter 
starting to fall out of the draft a little bit. Remember, he looked the wall contact earlier in the race. Eastland. Definitely very appreciated back in that 20. Looking for another full season of good old racing. And the unpredictable Misty Viper in the 45. He is right there just trying to get as much as he can from the low side. Everybody's been keeping good care of their stuff so far. Jake and Zentz able to pull themselves into a good position right where they want to be. Team Duke having to hold off a whole host of cars behind him. Six, Krugemeyer finds herself in a bit of a three-wide scenario. Maybe with Mizzou, Jeff, KSS might try to go middle here. A lot of lanes being decided on where exactly you want to go. And they're spacing out pretty good. Like, they're not, like, completely ass to mouth all over each other. But they're also not letting each other go, so... See Zentz up front taking the lead. Toad just maintaining his spot, looking for where he needs to go, and a lot of single file there. Ben just getting hung out to dry as Jake's gonna try and get a little bit of something to go with him. There. <laughs> we are mean. Three wide putting Ben way out there. Like, damn, what'd he ever do to you? He's trying to find his way back in line. He gets some draft going. Gets middle. And starts to connect with Landon to move up through here. I'm like, goddamn. Yeah, Ben has guys he needs to beat points. Racers back there. I also got Vaxxon, who's been really dealing with traffic right now. He's way back where they're fighting double wide. Even Mizzou fell back pretty hard that lap. God damn. He doesn't have it good. Back up to relative pretty good positions. Wannabe. Slow off a of one and two. That's That's rough. So maybe the outside lane, like the real outside, isn't as all cracked up as it's meant to be. This should be a two-stop race if all things go according to plan. Of course, you can come down pit road when a caution comes out. But I think if it goes, I think green flag should be two green flag pit stops at most. And the drivers, like, they're making great time in this race right now, like, putting together 10 complete laps without issue, and they're moving on down. Let's take a look at the back of the field. You got guys, like, tied back there, but, but Hampter, yeah, he's out of the draft. He's been out of the draft for a little while, as look at Ben and Zentz. Both coming back around to the front as now RS is pushing like mad. Try to get his guy out there. I think Ben McDonald just sitting there not really knowing what to do at this moment. They're coming in hot back there. Like You got some interesting faces. Canadian Lux in the nine. He's drafting back up, trying to get around the 45. And hyperdrive. 
just he's on the outside there, but he's got Jake and Landon to his inside. But the drafting help to help get him around the outside in front of him. As RS Fast and Eleven is now out front. Eastlamp sitting in second. Zents with third. I think Eastlamp's going to take the peak and get right up next to the 84, but no help. No help goes with him. I think the urgency level might be starting to pick up here right as we get later into this um, green flag run. Like, they're going to be looking for ways to, like, get by each other. And it's some, it's going to get a little ugly. We'll, we'll see. Ben McDonald, Zents, they got close to each other there. Just a little close. Back to where that one racer is. Boy, are they looking. Midfield's getting very competitive, but back out, back. They just dissolved nothing more than single file. They got to deal with trying to get all the way around the 45 draft or not. See what the plan is. Ben McDonald, no help. I think he gets back in line after that, just like after knowing he's not going to get anything. Going down into the turn. And to the credit, everyone is still in the lead lap, so. You keep your car clean, you never know what's going to happen. You might not see yourself running up near the front as Eastlump is taking the battle to RS Fast and 11. That's handedly due to green flag pit stops beginning right now. A solid entry onto pit road for all drivers who decide to come in this time. And, well, I guess Hampter comes in, too. So, out front, this leaves this draft of cars with Jake, Racer, Emma, Logan, Seto, the top five. Yeah, Jake, Racer, they're probably going to come in this time. And Yeah, I think that you can... It's going to be close on two stops, but they, of course, they went as long as they can. Try to maximize the amount of green flag laps they're going to be running here. Eastland, first man off pit road on the after the exchange. So I think we see. You see Eddie rounding three and four now. There's Hampter. He's in fear of going a lap down. So there goes Racer Jake Emma at right as Eddie comes off a of four. And it's going to be fast. They're going to go right on by. They're side by side and they got lap cars coming off the pit lane as well, so they gotta be careful. Racer with the lead car now. Now they're getting single file as the 84 gets by for the lead. Yeah, Hampter at 41st. 34 at a bad stop. Silva 
62. Now I got a lot of small groups now running their race. Seeing which one of these small groups are going to get out front. The 9 of Canadian Lux. All he's got to do is get by the 84. And if you know Lime Rock, that's uh, a risky proposition, to say the least. Still, though, plenty of groups here. There's your first group, at least. Then you got some trailers off with Zents, Ben, Tank, and Iris. And just so many drivers trailing off. And you got a decently sized group here with the Puff, CS, Vaxen, Darkest Presence among a few other drivers. And another slower group here. Behind them, Code Warrior and Gang. I think these guys might have had a bad stop. And then KSS and Hyper side by side. And Jeff all alone and Hampter about to go lap down. So those are the groups. So coming up on what should be the 77 car, that's what's up. Just waiting patiently, seeing who's going to, who wants to make a move, a race winning move. But still, with less than halfway there, there's still plenty of time left to go. As you see Hampter in the distance, and that shot won't be the only time that happens as drivers and cars looking to make their move. Racer trying to get as much of a push as he can to get some help down on that lower line to see what he can get going. The one pushing strong. Oh, the six starting to get the inside and corner round up the right way. And look at the 42 of Logan, the pusher for the six. That's going to be good. Try to get the inside lane working there. Jake fell back after an exchange back there. Logan's all over the back of the six is now... Just to give space to go to the inside here. But with not without that specific draft, like the nine kind of fighting for that spot with Logan. That one racer has cleared for the lead. We'll see what the six can do. It's been a long while since Krugemeyer's made the victory lane. A winless season in season four, and Krugermeyer is looking for something here. The 84 kind of fumbled the bag a bit and won. Both RS Fast and 11 and Logan are looking for some sort of speed that they can get themselves. Get going back up as running up on Hampter. The lead car is having somebody to draft off of. That's going to... I mean, it's all fun and games, so you got to pass them. The six looking low is maybe using Hampter as a pick. That's always the plan. Like, whenever there's a lap car right there, you just... Put the guy you're racing in an undesirable position and just stick him back there. 
I think RS Fast 11 is about to experience what that's like. Hampter actually starting to pick up a little speed with this draft here. But it's still painful. 84 gets by right there. And what about other groups? Like, got this four car solo tandem, five car tandem, and then these, these meatheads all fighting each other for some spots. Like, if they're going to try anything, then they might as well go sicko mode so hard that they bring out a yellow, which, I mean, if you're back here, you'd want a yellow, but you wouldn't want to be the yellow, if that makes sense. Ben McDonald, Zentz just trying so hard to push. They're actually kind of leaving Tank Gunner behind, but Iris is able to stay with them. Logan and Hampter are having a disagreement on track about where the 42 should pass. And it's a lap car, too, so it's really annoying if you're just seeing yourself right there, just wanting to get by, but just no way around. Yeah, top two actually is kind of starting to break off a little bit. Racer getting that distance from the field, but... Krugmeyer just pushing so hard. I think RS is going to have a mean draft in third right now. Ready to slipstream up to it. And they are goddamn close. 84 looks low, no help. Yeah, not getting help is a. Uh, Real pain in the ass. I think Logan's going to finally go with them on the entrance of three. Seeing what they've got. And it's just close racing all around. What's the 42 doing? Like, don't overthink it, bub. You're going to get a good finish if you just stay with these guys. At this point, I'd hate to fumble a, fumble a good finish away. 84, 29. Side by side. I think the 84 is going to try and clear. And he gets it. The 9 peaked. Some, somebody's got to go inside right here. Through 3. And it's going to be the 9. There. Going for it. The six going for the lead. The nine is going to try and get a little bit of extra push that he can just to clear for third. That's what he's got going on. Racer fighting back on the outside. The nine trying to get as much speed as he can before dropping back to the inside. Looking around. Nine really trying to go inside, but just no, nothing to nothing to hit there. It's so tough here if you're just you just don't have a good car that can slice through the field. We are hitting the two-thirds mark. I think we've exhausted a second green flag run's worth of run here. So, like, it's getting down to it. Jeff is close going a lap down. Because he's all alone. Hyper got KSS BSS, so he's fine. This shit's going to be rough. Your 
your drafting track really is putting in the great equalizers work. Coming back around, you got the nine coming in for a green flag pit stop. You see them splitting who's coming in, who's not. So, got more staying out. And some coming in. Lead bat battle is still kind of fierce right there. Yeah, you got Logan propped up on the outside of three, but they need to get it settled down a little bit. Coming to the pit stop. Jake's. On the inside, not really hard in that corner too hot, but he gets it slowed down as all, all the guys coming in. Getting it woed up a little bit. Currently scoring Iris as the race leader. This 27 has got some sort of plan. But not sure. Yeah, we're still green. As Iris comes right on in. And Frosty the Otter comes in as Vaxen now staying out. Super Sumo and Vaxen going for the lead. Here, as they're the two that have not pitted yet. Like Vaxen and Super Sumo, they're going to be both be gunning for pit road. As you see, the CS Fast and Eleven getting that push from fucking Ringo, dude. They're both just, they've made their stop. They're just going to not need to pit anymore. As you see, those who have not come in, come in right now. Yep, that's top two. I could not tell you what the scoop is at the moment. It looks to be looks to be leader Logan. Yeah, I think Faxon and Sumo have just come out of pit road, so I could say with great certainty, Leader Logan. Hampter still dead ass last. And Jeff gonna be close to going a lap down as well. Emma and Logan side by side for the lead. This is hard close. Hard and close right now. If you're back behind this this group, you're drafting your ass off. Zents, Iris, pretty much everybody in this second group right here there. Like taking full advantage of just one to go as fast as fucking possible. Logan and Emma just side by side, not giving an inch to each other. None, none spared between these two. The six takes the lead for now. As Zents in third is looking to enter this battle right now.
yeah, I think that the 42 looking back, I think they're going to go side by side again here. Fourth place, 27. Side by side for the lead down the back straight away. They are making every last bit of that car work to get themselves in the position they need. None spared. And look at this down the front straight away. Look at this second group right here. Everyone here. Everyone back to 11th is looking mighty strong. Coming up on Tiger Man in the 34. This should be a natural fit for the pack as the top spots are single file. And they're going to try to integrate him with or just go right around him like he doesn't exist. They're just going right past the 40, 34, 40th. I think the 6 being used to pick by Zents. Amazing right here. Whoa! Oh, crash! Oh, no! Zents and Jeff involved in this one. Over 9 got a piece of it as well. Caution. Late race caution. Oh, man. Oh, man. The six just got real impatient behind there, and that just causes all of them to get out there. The nine gets a little bit of damage from the 34. A lot of damage from 34. That impact, though, the nine Canadian Lux with something there. Zents, Spun, 34 Tiger Man coming in alongside the nine. Zents is able to recuperate in 11th, but I don't think the nine or the 34 are going to continue this race as Jeff. Yeah, he's got yeah, himself a rough one right there. There are... Okay, there, Hamster is the only lap car. Alright, let's go over this over. Four lap shootout. Logan first, Krugmeyer second, Iris third, RS fourth, Jake fifth, Misty... 6th, 7th, East Slim, 8th, Tank, 9th, Racer, Dump Truck, 10th, and a whole host of mishmashed, like, rarities here. Everyone's aware. Hampter is a lap car between 2nd and 3rd, because we're within the 10 to go in line, as we're going to have a restart. Yeah... I mean, it was a natural yellow, but it, that's how it is. A four lap shootout here could be magical. Pretty much any car in this pack, barring hamster, the hamster could win this fucking race. 38 different possibilities played out. In the end. Green flag. Here we go. The showdown is on. It's going to take a lap to get these guys up to speed. So let's accelerate on up. RS Fast and 11 is itching for a win, leaning on the 6. A lot there on the middle of a straightaway. 
That's tough. Jake's coming in. Watch 29. He slumps a little slow. Through mid of a turn. It's fine. It's fine. Keep a check. Keep a check. RS Fast and 11 out front. Coming to three to go. As they're trying to get, they're trying to get momentum in the pack, but these like front running cars are just putting on the speed right now. And it could be a little much to get anyone out there. Whew. This is another another one of those so close yet so far moments for Logan as Jake is going for it. RS getting a little two out there. Racer in third. Racer coming to third. That is getting the spot. Two to go. How it's going to play out. Jake, RS, side by side. 29, looking to clear. Doesn't quite get it done. Side by side down the straight. Racer sitting comfortably in third. Logan in fourth makes the move behind him. And the 42 starts coming back around. Misty Viper sitting in fifth. For this battle. What is it going to take? To take this lead here. Going down the back. Or front. <laughs> White flag. It is. One more time. Who's got this. Who's got it going. Oh Fred Jones involved in a wreck. Earlier. Still green. Half a lap to go. RS is in position to make the move. Him and Logan side by side. Nobody's going to get by, by to get to Jake. 29. It's going out there. Jake is going to get his second win on the season. Checkered flag. Looking around the room. Another late racer for Fred Jones on lap 45. Something happened to that 86 that they didn't throw it for this. Two to go. Fred Jones just gets right up into the back of the 91. Both of them hit the wall hard. The 91 was lifted into pit road as Fred Jones limped around to end the races. That was something. Well, let's got to tally the results. See what we got and move on to the next race. That's all for this one. We'll see you next time. Take care.